All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders, great millstone. Salutations to Yoakim, who go out throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth in all sincerity, uh, risking your life and putting your life on the line to do so. Shalom to you, brothers, man. Um, you know, just another day, uh, another opportunity to do uh, the will of the Lord. You know, the Wadi Yahweh this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Um, I just wanted to get into a couple of quick scriptures. Um, you know, nothing too long, just some, uh, something I, <coughs> excuse me, something I found while I was on my, uh, doing my studies, doing my reading. And, uh, you know, I linked up with some scriptures that are, you know, just comforting. You know, knowing that uh, the Lord got our back. Uh, Stick to uh, you know, trusting in him because he's going to punish and judge and weigh in the balance the duties of the wicked you know, the, that, that will come to naught. You know, they will come to naught. You know, they, their day of judgment will come. Though it, ha you know, though it tarried, man, wait. You know, the Lord is going to judge all these nations and these heathens for uh, their iniquity and their uh, you know, harsh judgment uh, against Israel. You know, they further furthered our affliction uh, way beyond what it needed to be. So uh, this is uh, Psalms 62, and I'll start at uh, 9. Surely men of uh, low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. Right? <clears throat> so Esau, Edom, and these, these uh, heathen, you know, they set themselves on high, and, you know, they, they act like, uh, you know, there's somebody special. And, and especially these elites, you know, uh, the Rockefellers, the Bilderbergs, uh, the Rothschilds, uh, the Gettys, the DuPonts, and all these, these businesses and these companies and these people, they, uh, really, corporations is what they really are. They're, um, <coughs> you know, their whole life is a lie, man. You know, everything that they do and everything that they uh, portray is a lie. Look at even, even the fact that they call themselves the, uh, Jewish. You know, that in itself is a lie. Man. And, uh, you know, so let's go. <coughs> um, I got a scripture that goes with that. We're going to go to Isaiah chapter 40 and verse, uh, we'll start at 15, I believe. Yep, behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of a balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as every uh, as every as a very little thing. Right? Because these other nations, man, they ain't nothing to the Lord. Right? He says they are as a drop of a bucket. If you have a whole bucket of water and you lose one drop, you're not gonna go back and try to sop up that one drop. When you got a whole bucket left. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and that's what these other nations are to him. The dust of a balance. Right? You can't get nothing for that. Everything's already been weighed. The grain is there. The dust, it, it's enough to just blow, blow away. Right? And that's that's what the, <laughs> the most high feels about these other nations. And just like it said in Psalms 62 and 9, Surely men of a low degree of vanity and men of a high degree are alive and to be laid in the balance, right? The judgment. They are altogether lighter than vanity. And the Lord doesn't care about them, as he just said in Isaiah 40, uh, verse 16. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. Verse 17, all nations before him are as nothing, and they are uh, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. And I'm just going to show you right now that uh, Psalm 62 and 9 is, is true, man. All these other nations are, are, are nothing, and they got to be put in balance and, and, and judged before, before the presence of, of the holy power of Yahweh. He's going to send his son, Yahweh Shai, back to do that bidding. Uh, Psalm 62. <coughs> Slap you. Psalm 
Psalm 62 and 10. Trust not in oppression and become not vain and robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, don't forget that if you start doing well, man, this is still Babylon. And this is still a facade, man. That steak is, is, is not real, even though it tastes so good. You know what I'm saying? Just, just being facetious. A little Matrix uh, uh, note there to, to the Matrix fans. Um, grab this uh, scripture real quick to go with that, too. Uh, but don't, don't trust in your oppression, man. And if you start to increase something, you know, don't, don't put your heart upon it, man. for these other nations is going to come and it's, it's going to do its will. And there's nothing that can be done about that. Nothing that can stop that. The Most High has called for these other nations to be, be judged at the end. That's why he's gathering everybody in that valley. That's what that whole, the whole scripture is about. When he's bringing everybody to the borders of Jehoshaphat, that's the land of his judgment. And he's going to judge everybody according to their works. 
And how has everybody treated the Lord, uh, the apple of the Lord's eye? His chosen, his children, the one he calls Israel. The friend of his friend, the friends of his friend, Abraham. How do you think he feels about that? You know, the way that you have uh, furthered our affliction and let Esau just, just run rampant and do, do all kinds of crazy wickedness to us. And no man shall buy thee. No man came and, 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 and helped out. No man stood up. None of these other nations stood up and said, you are the children of Israel. Except for an uh, old boy over there in uh, uh, Egypt at the time, Abdul Nasir Gamal or whatever said how did the Jews leave black and come back white therefore we cannot accept you when them, them uh, Israelis came over there the Jewish converts you know so hey man don't worry about these heathens they they got their judgment coming the Most High is going to deal with them and all we do we got to do is sit back keep praising the Lord do what we have to do work hard you know do our videos when we can do our videos. Go out on the highways and the byways. Be brotherly to your brothers. You know, just increase in your belief, your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Study to show thyself approved. Endure on he that endure until the end, the same shall be saved. You know, if you were chosen, it was before the foundation of the world. So just do the work and hope that you are, you were chosen. You know, that's all we got to do. And these other nations, you know, they got their comeuppance. They got a, they got theirs now, and now, and pretty soon it's gonna be time for the Lord to get His. Hey, but uh, with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Say shalom.